Hello, and welcome to Megger's Technical Support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to set up power on defaults in your custom configuration. Now let's get started. Default settings can include anything in RTMS software, including things in the configuration itself. If you want to set a specific voltage to power on defaults, you can set whatever you wish. As an example, you can also go to the state sequencer. You can build a state sequencer to do a multi-shot reclosing that fits your company's parameters. This can be saved to your power on defaults as well. As another example, if you have a particular time over current relay you use all of the time, you can actually select that model whatever it may be, even put in default settings. These can also be part of your power on defaults. Inside the configuration, any choice in this box can be saved as your power on defaults. If you prefer to have four voltages and two currents because you frequently need greater than 30 amps continuous. This also can be a power on default. When you're happy with all of your choices throughout all of RTMS, return to this screen and click on default setting options. Choose save as default. Other choices in this screen, restore defaults. You would use this if you've changed something in the setup and you want to restore it back to your personal power on defaults. Restore factory defaults, restores the factory defaults, and restore factory default hot environment. This restores the factory defaults with more aggressive cooling choices. This concludes part four of system configuration, configuring your power on defaults. Thank you for your time. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.